if you've been wondering how to use image references with Midjourney and feed external images as inspiration for your Midjourney results, then this video will show you exactly how to do that. Stick around to the end to see how I use the photo on the left to create the character you see on the right. Welcome back everyone and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Midjourney allows you to include an external image alongside your text prompt, which it will then use as visual inspiration for your end result. This functionality can be controlled using the IW command that you see over here, and that allows you to communicate to Midjourney the degree to which you want it to feed inspiration from your images. It's important to note that Midjourney will not copy your images one to one, but instead use your images to create a similar idea. With all that being said, let's hop into Discord to demonstrate how it works. The way that you add image references in your text prompt is by including a URL of that image. The easiest method to do that is simply by sending your image to your Discord channel. So I have my reference image here open on the top right, and I'm just going to drag, drop, and then send it to Discord. Once it's sent, open the image, right click, and then select copy link. And this is the URL you can now use as part of your text prompt. So as usual, let us type slash imagine. We'll include the URL, just copy paste it, and just add a text prompt after it. So in my case, for our first example, I'll be creating clouds. So I'm just going to type clouds. Once you click enter, that's going to start generating your image. So that's great, we now know how to include a reference image in our text prompts, but let's understand how it actually works, what you can control, and explore the different results that different controls produce us with. For our first example, we'll generate four images of clouds. I've written out four text prompts which will demonstrate how image references impact our end results with Midjourney and how you can use the IW or image weight command to alter these end results. Our first prompt is a control image, so Midjourney will produce an image without our reference image above, while the other three prompts have our image URL included as a reference image, so this URL links to this photo. Within these three prompts, we'll vary the IW command or the image weight uh, strength at levels 1, 2 and 10,000 and these values will reveal to us the first way in which these image weights work. In front of us, we now have the results for our four prompts. And the main thing we notice is how the three results with our reference image included have adopted the color scheme of the reference image itself. These three have a lot more purple and orange as part of their composition compared to our control image which had no image reference. We also noticed that the higher the image weight value we've specified, the more impactful our reference image has been as the purple and orange hue becomes more and more prominent. To see this better, I've upscaled one image from each of our previous grids. Looking at the prompt with image weight 1, here at the top right, we start to see some purple and some orange as well, but we also see the presence of blue, which comes from our text prompt as blue is the main color seen in our control image. At image weight 2, we now have no more blue present, and apart from some beige in the clouds, all the colors are from our reference image. This is expected because as we increase the image weight parameter, Midjourney puts more importance on our reference image. In the final image, I've placed 10,000 weight on the reference image and we can see that Midjourney has pretty much ignored the cloud text prompt and has started improvising at recreating our reference image, as can be seen by some of these plants that were introduced to our result. In my experience, using a weight between 0 and 5 is the most effective as anything higher, Midjourney ignores your text prompt and you lose control over the end result to a large degree. Nevertheless, play around with this in your own images and find what works for you. You can actually include numerous reference images, not just one. Including the same image three times is likely to provide more prominent results than only including an image once. So let's replicate example one, but with a new reference image which will link three times as part of our prompt. 
it's important to note that you should include three different URLs for each reference image that you use, even if the image is the exact same. So to do that, let's drag, drop, and send the image three times. This is one, this is two, and this is three. And just like we did before, we'll just open each individual image, copy link, and then you can start your imagine prompt. Copy paste, paste the first one. We'll copy the second one as well. Make sure to leave a space between them so they don't merge. And then just follow this with your prompt. I thought it would be interesting to create the character for our second example. Similar to before, I've drafted four different prompts. The first prompt is our control image with no image reference. This is to see what Midjourney will produce with our text prompt alone. We can then compare that to our other three examples which have three reference images attached to each. I've varied the image weights for these prompts from 0.5 to 1 all the way up to 10,000. I want to bring your attention to how simple the prompt I've provided is. I've only specified that we're trying to create a woman with bleached blonde hair and have not detailed the length of the hair, what she's wearing, what skin tone. I've done this on purpose to demonstrate that Midjourney can indeed pick up on these things using image references. Our prompts have now finished rendering and starting with the prompt where we did not input our reference image at all, we can see that the results are obviously quite different than our reference image and that is not surprising given that there was no link between the two. The character created has long hair which is much more blonde than our reference image. She is also wearing clothes quite different to the ones which we see in our reference image. Next, looking at our first prompt with a reference image and an image weight of 0.5, the result is now somewhat closer to our reference image in that Midjourney is starting to introduce the short hair which is featured in our reference composition. It is still quite far, but that's expected as we've placed more weight on the text, which by default is 1, compared to the image weight which is 0.5. Next, we have our closest results. At image weight 1, the hair is now the correct color, the character aesthetic feels quite similar, she's now wearing a black top and overall it's very close to the reference image in terms of character features. I'm going to go ahead and upscale version 3 because I feel that's closest to a finished product, but before that let's look at image weight 10,000 where we can see that again Midjourney hasn't produced anything close to our reference um, and instead it has improvised which again I believe hints that lower image weights between 0 and 5 are better when using reference images. And here is the upscaled character. I personally feel that this is an incredible result that Midjourney has produced due to how similar the character feels to our reference image. The hair length is correct, the hair color is almost perfect with the exception of these slightly orange patches which honestly I think I may have introduced with my text prompt but it's even colored the end of her hair black as it has misinterpreted the shadow here for darker hair ends. The black top is also matching. I've not played around with re-rolling numerous times or try out different text combinations as I wanted to conduct a quick and raw demonstration for you so you know what to realistically expect on your first try. I'm sure these results can be significantly improved but for now I hope that you found this video useful. If you did please like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.